health officials are seeing an increasing number of outbreaks. In Kingston, Ontario, at least five recent COVID-19 positive cases have been linked to a large party. At a 50-person wedding in Oshawa, eight cases, and the couple has not handed over their guest list. you got to give up the names, you know, and, until we can, we can contact trace them. Tracers need to figure out who's spreading this virus. Scientists insist it's fewer people than you think. Not everyone spreads the same amount. Indian scientists conducted the largest COVID-19 contact tracing study in the world. It suggests the epidemic is being driven by a small number of infected people. It is known from the scientific literature that not everyone sheds virus the same way or that they have equal levels of viral load. Scientists tracked 85,000 COVID cases in India and over half a million of their contacts. They found 71% of people hadn't clearly transmitted the virus to anyone. Instead, 5% of people accounted for 80% of the infections. Super spreading events happen and that's a, a, a reasonable term to define what's happening. Super spreading events aren't well understood. They're tough to study and the findings can stigmatize those who set them off. Experts say they can also be situational. You have, uh, for example, a wedding where there could be a lot of people in close contact with each other. Some of it might be individual factors and for whatever reason, some people are just able to uh, shed more virus than others. Typically, super spreading events take place in crowded indoor settings where people are face to face for long periods of time. If we have certain groups you know, within the public uh, aren't following the guidelines, it, it, it's very difficult. Experts say outbreaks will continue to spike. The weather is changing and people are moving indoors. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.